That Candyman was great. Yo, the Love and Thunder uh, trailer was awesome. I have a hard time getting excited about Love and Thunder because they I'm just did like two of the best hero. movies they've ever done back to back Spider Man no and Doctor Strange. Like, I don't understand like how Love and Thunder is going to be anywhere near as exciting. It looks like a party movie. I mean, Thor Ragnarok is great. Think it's... Down. Circle the wagon. I'm yeah, sure it'll be a great like movie. It's going to be Marvel's but... like porkies, basically. It's going to not feel as exciting to me, I think. Who's, who's directing it, by the way? I uh, the same guy as Ragnarok, Taika Waititi. Damn, okay. trick me. Ragnarok I mean, ripped. It's bound this to be, be great, good. but I don't know. I'm just, I, like, plus we're gonna have to see Chris Pratt's stupid fucking face. Never. Like, uh, I'm not with it. Dark army. Yeah, true. All the the back to no, I'm dead. That dude can go back to church. Yeah, Chris Pratt can definitely go back to fucking church. Do not let my yeah. death be in I hunger for battle still. Return my soul. From community. <laughs> hey, didn't he Wait, play a bad community? It wasn't community, it was Parks and Rec. Sorry. Stupid. I think I think the asshole you're thinking of is Chevy Chase, Goose. I can't believe they made Chevy, Chevy Chase. Chevy Chase is a notorious asshole. Notorious asshole. Is Chris Pratt a notorious asshole, or does he just go to a church? Uh, well, I mean... He goes to a church of assholes. He goes to a church of assholes, and then is like, I don't know why anyone's mad that I go to a church of assholes. Which is like an asshole move in itself, you know what I mean? Yeah, not like, oh shit, they believe in that shit? Maybe I should not, yeah. condone, not condone that. I don't think we need to cancel Chris Pratt or anything. I just like don't need to see his ugly mug, you know. Yeah. And then... I'll still go see Love and Thunder. Obviously. I didn't like him before those movies, and I was shocked that I liked those movies. I mean, the first I Jurassic like, World oh, was okay. Will... The second one was like a piece of trash. Fucking emotionally yeah. manipulative. I don't remember the second one. They're like, Who oh, well, watch this Brontosaurus die. Spoiler alert for Jurassic World 2, by the way, anyone watching. They emotionally oh, manipulate you into caring about the Brontosaurus. Oh, it definitely was. They w the yeah. biggest biggest sin of though is they waste char charismatic ass Jeff Goldblum on a courtroom deposition. Where is everybody? I'm sitting here at the pages. What is the point of that? Why do you even have Jeff Goldblum in your movie? You're going to have him being all fucking stoic, reading facts off in fucking court. So you can give him a I paycheck. I mean, because it was a bad film. Just a bad film, exactly. That's my point exactly, Goose. They, they put him in there to be like, oh, we're bringing back Jeff Goldblum. But, they don't but then they were like, we fucked up bringing back Jeff Goldblum and made it boring somehow. Well, it was just, it was like a cameo. It wasn't like a real, he wasn't a real. Oh, I know, but he could have been like, he could have like, made some hey, quips. Remember that guy from the first two? Remember Jeff Goldblum exists? He's, he's it looks like in this new one, all three of the original people are like in it for a decent amount of time, but I'm not going to find out till that shit's free. I'm not paying money for that. Yo, the whole like trailer for the first, like, the, the, the Chris Pratt Jurassic. Jurassic Pratt movie or whatever. Jurassic <laughs> Pratt. Like, I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, it's rare for a trailer to piss me off enough where I'm like, no, I'm not seeing that. But it was like... Usually it's the opposite trailer. You're like, oh, this looks kind of good. And you see it. Yeah. But the trailer was like, basically them being like, we invented super raptors. Well, that's the thing. They need to stop that. <laughs> you're like... And Chris oh, Pratt's like all right like now. fucking getting all up and like being like, oh, I love raptors. I, I like to speak the raptor <laughs> language. <laughs> you're like, what the fuck is this bullshit? Who wants to see this? <laughs> and the trailer for the new one's the same fucking thing. He's all like, I have a personal raptor. I'm in Montana. Because I'm with a the cool dinosaur. guy. 
Your own personal raptor. <laughs> you know, some people have cats. I have a raptor. raptor I gotta save this raptor. Nobody else will do it. What the fuck the kind of piece of shit movie is that gonna be? Have been <laughs> Steal yourself a battle. <laughs> Who writes this crap? That's a question. Oh, well, I mean, the second one was, was it the second one where they were like trying to sell dinosaurs to the military? Oh, yeah. Yep. I think it's in the first Pick one they alluded spot. to. They wanted raptors for Afghanistan. Yep. Yep. Or something. I mean, the new Jurassic World movie is like. I appreciated the first one kind of as a set piece. Like, what if Jurassic Park succeeded and then went wrong? Yeah, yeah, I agree. That was, the first one had some nice ideas. It was ideas. an interesting, like, short story experiment, but, you know, turning it into a franchise. Like, yeah. It was watchable. Yeah. They were, like, doing more. Was, I mean, it was stupid. I mean, there is a way to do a. A franchise of Jurassic Park, well, they and killed. have it not fucking be so stupid. Well, yeah, they yeah, did they already did do that. that. It's called Jurassic well, Park actually, 1 through 3. I don't know, by the third one, I was kind of... I mean, listen, listen. I will concede that the third one was the weakest of the three, but it was still pretty good. You get Dr. Grant and William H. Macy, come on. Yeah, I mean, it did put, it did cast uh, character actors that I know. If you have failed to seal yeah. the breach, I feel like, hey, I know that guy from other stuff. I know William Ace Macy. He's the shoveler. He's probably having trouble with his wife. That happens a lot. It seems to happen a lot. To him. He yeah. looks like the kind of that is that how he was typecast? They take William H Macy and like you look like the kind of guy whose wife wants to leave him. <laughs> let's fucking let's build a fucking. Like that, that's you. Build a character we, around we, this. We need some poor fucking schlub who doesn't understand why his wife doesn't love him anymore. <laughs> uh, we fucking put out a call. William, oh, H. William H. Willie H. Willie H. I was just spending some points. Send you another invite. All right, I killed a guard. But yeah, speaking of movies that aren't trash, I highly recommend the Chip and Dale. Definitely. Goose, if you haven't seen it yet, you should watch the Candy re Candyman remake. It's on Prime right now. Why fucking couldn't they get the original voice actors from 1987? Uh, no. Jurassic World Dominion. Chris Platt, Pratt plays Owen Grady, a man who can only be sexually gratified with a raptor in his presence. Right? <laughs> fucking weird, man.